say, eh, got a lot to give to you, girl, take me inside, eh, Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block, center the home of Nigerian Film Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Let's just go straight to it without hesitation. So, Joseph Parker um, defeated uh, Deontay Brown's The Do Daughter Sleep. Deontay Water um, via in a musician. Ah, I have no words, bro. Let me just get a brown here, Adewale. Adewale, what the hell is that? Was that by water? No activity, being hesitant to throw punches, couldn't really get himself going, taking too much time, no combination, no jab. What just happened right now, bro? Because in as much as I can come here and bash water, or we can criticize water. We know that's not the real water way that we know. There was no activity at all. Like even come on jab, nothing. Bro, there was at also no urgency from him. He just he yeah. like he gave Parker too much respect. This this is the Parker that, go, let's, that let's, got, let's not say that's that not got, the real water. That got stop. Why do we know the real water? Bro, hold on, hold on, bro. Let me finish. How do we know it's not the real water? What, what Wait, we bro, to tell let us me may I finish now. You, you get your, you what get your turn, know? you get your turn to talk. I beg, make I talk now. Me, I did talk to the wali. You got to talk. You will come out soon, bro. That was not the real water. More tell the truth. He didn't throw anything. I've watched water fights. I know that he he takes his time a lot, but he at least throw jabs. But in this case, he did not throw anything at all. It was just moving, 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 moving. Adewale, yep. your reaction to that Man, you know, as a, as a, as a diehard Wilder fan, congratulations to Joseph Parker. He did his thing. Man, great overhand right hand from Parker. Great timing. Man, that guy really impressed me and I'm really happy for him because this opportunity just put a breath of fresh air in his career. Who knows? He might be fighting for another world title next 2025 2024 maybe so congratulations to joseph parker um today deontay wilder my favorite fighter <laughs> diehard fan win win lose or draw he disappointed um i would say us the fans he didn't have what it took to compete with joseph parker like you said ray he had no footwork his footwork looked bad he wasn't throwing the jab he was moving too much. I don't know what Malik Scott is doing, bro. Honestly, I'm just going to put it out there. Malik Scott, bro, what the fuck were you doing, my guy? Why are you making this guy move around the ring so much at 38 years old? This guy is coming off a two-year layoff. No activity. In fact, bro, I'm disappointed to the maximum level. But it is what it is, man. Um, at 38 years old, I want to believe that we've seen the best of Deontay Wilder. The Wilder that, that, that fought with a, with a torn bicep, with, with a broken hand, and was out jabbing a guy until they stopped the fight. A Wilder that would be getting out boxed, but was still trying to put that jab out there. He would put the jab in your face at least. He would use his reach to land that jab in your face, but he couldn't do nothing tonight. And that's all credit to Joseph Parker. And what I think I saw tonight is Wilder has diminished as a fighter um whatever he plans to do in his future i wish him the best i'm still bomb squad regardless um it is what it is man i'm really really sorry now i, I yield the floor I'm sad, i yield the but, floor but to I'm all sad. the i'm sad all I'm the sad, haters bro. but <laughs> I, I wouldn't say he has diminished as a fighter you know you if you say a fighter has diminished at least you will see them not being able to do things they used to do before but Wada did not even try to do anything like that and, and yeah and someone said yeah this is the he he he's, he only had one round he, he fought one like, like in the past two years he's been in one round fight yeah 
just one round. As a, as a I mean, fighter, that Fury I... trilogy, bro. Do you remember how Wilder this started the the third fight against Tyson Fury? He was jabbing to the body for like two rounds. I was expecting him to implement that strategy, but he wasn't. He was just standing and waiting for Parker to do so. Man, I'm disappointed, but you know, congratulations to Joseph Parker. I don't want this to be all about Deontay Wilder because Parker too did a lot. Man, I'm highly impressed with Parker. The guy trained hard. I still don't consider him to be a top heavyweight because he defeated Wilder. This isn't the top Wilder. This Wilder that he defeated is not a prime Deontay Wilder. This is a hurt Deontay Wilder, a diminished fighter. But that's my opinion. Thanks. Okay. Ibrahim, you so want to talk. Abi, get on here, bro. <laughs> but you know what? Though? I'll be real. I'll be real. This is just me. When someone is so magnanimous, I think my lips are tongue tongue tied. But whatever, um, in defeat, then I can't, there, there's no point. There's no point. And I respect I respect Mister Mister Adewale for just um saying it as it is. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not really gonna go in. I'm just gonna be objective about the performance. And um, it was just poor, bro. Do you know what I mean? It was just poor. Um, it's just. <laughs> For, for me, if I'm going to be real though, I think it's difficult for me to look at it and say this is because of age, it's because Wilder's, you know, because he's now diminishing and all these sort of things. My argument has always been we've never been able to see what level Wilder's at. We haven't been able to see it. Like, let's be honest. Like, who can we pick up from the record and say, you know what, he had this challenge against this world-class fire and look at the way he dealt with that person. So I think that's why it's difficult for me to say well, you know what? This is him just diminishing. Maybe it is. I'm not saying it isn't. Maybe it is. Maybe Edge just caught up with him. But we don't know what it would have high would have been if he fought Wilder, if he fought Parker three years ago, four years ago. Maybe it could have been the same thing. Maybe Parker was even a better fighter than maybe Parker would have watched him. I don't know. Or maybe Wilder would have knocked him out. We don't know. But this has always been the argument, which was, you know, his 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 record is padded. He hasn't really fought top class fighters but yeah he's gained all of these accolades and all of these praises this has always been my issue with it but just to talk about this fight i mean it is just what it is like literally every single round he lost maybe you give him one maybe you know but one of the judges actually gave you a complete shutout and the other ones gave him like what one round um th there's not really much to say barely threw any punches you know, it's just a clear victory. <laughs> the maddest thing to me, bro, a man can't put his hand up at the end of the fight. I said, <laughs> I said what happened to this guy? He needs a drug test after that fight. Like, <laughs> but, but you have to respect the delusion, though, because like that's that, the one thing one is when it's got maybe AJ needs a bit of that. It's just this crazy in self belief, which actually we saw a little tinkle of it, right? He's in the 10th round, 11th round, because he knew he'd lost, but you know, whatever he had left in him, he wasn't, he, he came out and actually tried to do a little thing. So I respect him for that still, you know, that, that, that's something that AJ needs, like that, that mindset. But for him to put his hand up at the end of the fight, I said, <laughs> I said, I said this guy, there's something really wrong with this guy, man. But um, yeah, man, it is what it is. That's me done. Man, it's sad, it's sad. He just, what I just said, uh, he's indicated that he could retire. Uh, he could not retire from boxing after the Parker. He said, "I could. We'll see what happens. We still have a little left, a little bit left. But I did a great job managing my money. I'm a happy fighter. I've been. I, I will be back. And if not, then it's been a pleasure. I don't know if I still have the same fire I used to. A lot has wow. calmed me down. I've been wearing this my all week long, and I'm still wearing." Not against okay. I, I, agree, I agree with what you. What a lost bro. motivation for boxing then. He, he like he lost yes. look if you if you look at if you look at the, the, the first press conference, the way he was, and then obviously people were going what's going on with this wilder and then he started talking smack. I think that was just a way for him to just try and you know, to just try and mask how he actually truly feels. I think in that press conference that probably is just the new Wilder. I don't think he's got the energy for it anymore. I think he's done the ayahuasca thing. I think he's seen the spirits. I think he's he's a different human being. And I, I respect that. I want to have that experience, if I'm being honest. So I'm not even knocking him for that. But I think he has actually genuinely changed. And I mean, he, he's just said it there. And I completely, I believe, I believe what he's saying there. I genuinely do. Thanks, brother. Uh, Mario Joe, let's get your, your take on this. Then we'll get ready for the main event. I think Wada, um, Joshua Wally will, uh, didn't 
the, I don't know who proposed it, but I think that was the right main event because if this was the main event, it would have been disappointing. And Francis Ngano yeah. is saying on Twitter that he, like uh, he's licking his lips, basically. This water, Ngano would be this water, bro. I think Ngano would be this water. This is very simple. Bro, I, I don't think so. Ngano needs to keep quiet. Ngano is not a boxer, okay? He had one good performance against a... I mean, I'm not prepared Tyson Fury. See, yeah, but I'm saying, brother, but I'm saying that good. this war, the Ungano beats him. The Ungano beats this war. This, no, this, look at the way Wada was moving. Have you guys forgotten how good Joseph Parker is? Look, like, literally, are we really now, are we really now saying Joseph Parker is like a shit? Come on, this no, guy, no, no. Joseph Parker, Joseph is Parker, for everybody. Yeah, but still, I didn't expect Joseph Parker. Ungano cannot make Wada look this bad. Let's stop it. Let's stop it already. Ngano cannot make Wada look this bad. I think you're under, you're under, you're under, you're you're underestimating Ngano, though. Bro, bro, bro. You see, one thing I don't like, right, is when somebody has one good performance and then we start talking like he's going to beat everybody. Come no, on. No, no, no. I'm Come saying on, that uh, this, Ngo, listen, I said this But Ngano Wada, hasn't had one good performance, bro. I said, though, bro. He's a world-class fighter and he put Fury on his bum. So we can't, we can't just completely write him off. You're completely I'm writing him off. I'm not saying we're writing him off. I'm not saying we're writing him off. I'm just saying, like, I think people are beginning to over, like, he's not been tested against the, the fact that he put, um, a, 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 a fury down doesn't mean he's gonna do well against every other fighter. I, I agree, but we can't say that he can't based on what we have seen. <sighs> See, all I'm trying to say is that with the way Wilder was moving, Wilder was was all right tonight. Apart from the fact that he was not able to throw the right hand, at least the first few rounds he was moving around the ring well. But his timing is obviously. Bro, it's not about throwing the right hand. The guy didn't even throw a, a jab. But that's that's what that's game. Though. There was that's no jab. There was, was nothing. Like... Bro, bro, at least what I threw jabs against Fury to the body and tr like he didn't throw any anything at all, bro. Any, See, he didn't my throw my anything, my only thing I'm gonna say, bro, to this. Obviously, I'm not happy. Um, believe it or not, I I never liked Wilder. I think I started liking Wilder a little bit after um the third fight against Fury. Okay. That was when I started warming up to him because the heart he showed in that fight, honestly, I've not seen that in a long time. If we can literally lift that heart off water and put that in, in today's AJ, honestly, AJ will like literally be destructive completely. Anyway, um, Wilder, I think that the way Wilder was managed We've been saying this. I've heard Ibrahim say it. I've said it. Even you, Ray, you said it. The way Wada was managed um, until he fought Fury, I would say that he has been managed badly. They didn't put Wada in there to fight some real guys when Wada was at his peak. All right? They didn't allow Wada to fight the, 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 the top guys when Wada was at his peak of his power. Unfortunately, it has come too late now for Wilder to start trying it out at the age of 38. He's not been in the ring. Well, he fought Alenius, um, well last year, two years ago, and this is the guy he has fought in. You know, he has he has sparred with over and over again, so he knows how to beat Alenius. He probably has knocked Alenius out in sparring several times. So for me, that wasn't even that was just a glorified sparring sparring session that was televised. So, unfortunately, I think that um, it was too late now for Wilder to now start fighting the likes of Parker, AJ, and all these guys. It's too late. Um, and then to try to change Wilder's style at the age of 37, 38 is also too late. Um, he's never been a boxer. He's been more of a fighter. He's going to come with the right hand. He's going to wait, wait, wait. But look at tonight. He couldn't control the right hand properly. He really couldn't. And when he did, it had no effect at all on Joseph Parker at all. So it's a shame. I don't honestly think we're going to see Wilder again. And I don't think I want to see him again. And the reason why I said that is it's three losses now. And I would not want every Tom, Dick and Harry to start beating Wilder now at this stage. I don't want Wilder to become one of those guys that will now have five, six, seven losses on his record. I think, like he said, he's at peace. He has made some good money. He's invested his money well. He's... He's not as I mean Wada is not really that guy anymore. Like Wada used to be like literally ferocious, like even in, in interviews and all of that. But you can see now he's so calm, 
he's talking more like um, a motivational speaker. The fire is no more there. Um, his love for boxing, I think, is gone, um, to be honest. And I also think that uh, Mali Scott has been talking a lot. What is going to come and do this? He's going to come and do that. I think that they really should have been doing their work in the background and let Wilder come back. Because sometimes when you talk too much, you put so much pressure on yourself or your fighter, you know? So, and that's what, I, what that's one of the things that I think has happened to Wilder tonight. Um, I'm very, 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 very heartbroken. Like, honestly, I'm actually quite heartbroken. And when I said in the chat, when I said that people will remember Wilder as a fraud, the reason why I said that is because that's what people have been saying for a long time. I've said it myself. And now people are going to refer back to saying that. Now they're going to remember this guy as the guy that stepped up against Fury. He got bit. He stepped up against Parker. He got bit. So the only real name on his record, which I'm not even going to call a real name, really, would have been, I mean, would be um, Luis Ortiz. So other than Luis Ortiz, who else can I really say that I can, I, I don't know, you know? So it's, it's a shame. I think what has come to the end of the road now, I don't think we're going to see him again. The fight against AJ is done and dusted. And in a way, I'm glad because I think AJ would have probably knocked him out, honestly. Not to this Wilder. That's all I've got to say. Okay, anyway, well, guys. Wilder, we've enjoyed your knockout, Wilder. We've enjoyed all your highlight reels. I don't think that there's been anyone who's had a number of highlight reels, not even like Tyson, has had you know, the number of highlight reels you've given us. Unfortunately, you didn't fight the guys you ought to have fought when you were at the peak of your power. And at the age of 38, trying to do that now is a bit too late. And I think that most of them now will beat Wilder, in all honesty. Ruiz will probably beat him, probably. And a lot of these guys will probably beat him. Even today's Caballero, based on that performance, will probably beat him. So, yeah, I don't want to think... Sad. Anyway, guys, um, you heard it from our brothers. Um, like the video, share, subscribe. Uh, catch on the next one. God bless you.